All right. Good morning, everybody. It's Perk Day. <laughs> Today is Friday, June 18th. We're halfway through the month already. Can't believe it. It's flying by. We just had a magnificent golf outing on Wednesday. Let's, let's hear it for the golf outing. How many folks were there? Got lots of people in the room that were there. Thank you too much, so much for the committee. We have got a couple, a couple of committee members in here. Thanks so much for everything you did. I don't know how you got that weather to be so perfect, but do it again next year. <laughs> really appreciate everything. Al, let's get the meeting started. Let's do it. Okay, give me a coffee. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Well, today we have a special treat. Uh, we have a member who's fairly new, but he's been attending lots of YPG meetings and he was at the golf outing volunteering this week. He's been to a couple of Zoom meetings here at the park. And uh, his name is Ryan Salen, owner of Greater Than the Game, a nonprofit that he's going to be talking about. And his topic today is tips that you're faced with, uh, uh, tips for you for when you're facing adversity. Ryan, go ahead. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for being here this morning. For those of you who haven't met, my name is Ryan Celine, and I'm the founder and executive director of Greater Than the Game Incorporated, a nonprofit based in Monmouth County who's dedicated to inspiring people through sports. Uh, now, I'm going to show a video real quick that explains a little bit about what we're about and what we're trying to do. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen. My name is Ryan Celine, and I'm the CEO and founder of Greater Than the Game, a nonprofit dedicated to inspiring people through sports. In March of 2018, I started Greater Than the Game for one reason and one reason only. I wanted to show the world that there's no limit to what people can accomplish. We want the world to see that once they put their mind to doing something, they can accomplish anything. I know because I'm one of those people. I have cerebral palsy, which is a neuromuscular disorder that affects my balance and my muscle tone. Although life has been a little bit more challenging for me, I was blessed with parents that gave me one gift. The gift of never allowing me to say I can't. This has pushed me to accomplish numerous things in my life. And I want to give that gift to other people. A couple of years ago, I was learning how to surf. There was a, a woman that walked up to my mom and asked, does your son have cerebral palsy? And my mom was like, yeah. And she was like, oh, that's crazy. Um, my nephew has cerebral palsy and he would never try something like that. He's like mad at the world. And I heard that story and I was really sad because that's just an attitude. If he saw all the people doing the things that he wanted to do, maybe he would have the inclination to do it too. But he would believe that he could do things too. And that's where like the seeds are greater than the game were planted. I want to help that person really just believe. I think greater than the game can be a beacon of hope for people. Instead of going to those negative headlines and reading about how bad things are, it can spark a little bit of, hey, this good thing happened today or, or this this player is given back this way or this kid just did this amazing feat with a disability every story we write we want to highlight that good that triumph human spirit and just bring people a little joy and if we can do that consistently for people we can change the world the funds that we raise will go towards accomplishing this mission with your help someone somewhere can change their life and become greater in the game So that's a little bit about what we do. I'm gonna stop my screen share. Um, and can you guys still see me and stuff? Yes. All right, cool. Shh. Oops. State Farm commercial. Anything. Is that Jake from State Farm? Uh, next commercial. What's <laughs> there we go. Um, so over the past three years, I've been interviewing and uh writing about many athletes who have overcome huge adversity in their lives. And I've found like three common themes that have really uh, inspired me throughout the way. And I want to talk to them, uh, talk about them to you. Now, these aren't anything new, but I'm hoping I can package it in a way that'll be impactful for you and help you and help you uh, in everyday life. I want them to transcend sports and really be meaningful. 
So the first thing is perspective. Like the video said, I grew up with I grew up with cerebral palsy, and I love sports. So a lot of times when I was younger, playing different sports, basketball, baseball, hockey, all that kind of stuff, I'd get mad when I couldn't compete at the level of my friends. If I lose in a race, if I lose one-on-one on, one on one in basketball, I'm super competitive, and I, I hated losing. So I'd always complain to my dad and be like, Dad, I, I keep losing. What the heck? I don't understand it. And my dad would always be like, Ryan, at least you're playing. And I hated hearing that, but it was really important. And as I got older, I kind of understood a little bit, uh, a little bit why, why, why he was saying that. And uh, perspective really got brought to the forefront for me when I interviewed this guy named Logan Aldridge. Now, Logan lost his arm in a wakeboarding accident when he was 13. Now, if you don't know, wakeboarding is where you're behind the boat and you're being pulled and there you're on a board and you do flips and turns and it's a really, really cool sport. But um, the rope got around his arm and he ended up losing his arm. And on the way to the hospital, he was like, mom, what are we gonna do if I have to lose my arm? Cause he didn't know if he was gonna be able to save it or not. And his mom looked at him and went, Logan, it's just an arm. So that kind of flipped his mindset of, of okay, I lose it, I can, let's see what I can do without it. So he ended up becoming a, a sponsored CrossFit athlete, a professional wakeboarder. And now he teaches adaptive CrossFit to uh, handicapped individuals around the world. So I'm not saying that, so a lot of times my, in my head, I like to make my problems bigger than they are. And I'm not saying that stuff we go through isn't, isn't a big problem, but I think the way we view it can really impact how we handle it. And Logan did it in a great way and was able to really overcome. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is that our struggles can often be used to help someone else. And I know I hate hearing that when I'm going through something. I, I'm like, man, let me just get through it first and then I can help somebody. But, um, but this was really brought to my attention when I interviewed this guy named Scotty Kramer. Now, Scotty is, was a professional BMXer. So he, he rode uh, road bikes for a living. And um, he was sponsored by all these different companies. And he was a nine-time X Games medalist. And so he was at the top of his sport. And he did a, a trick for a YouTube video and ended up breaking his neck. And he was told, man, I'm not, uh, you're never going to be able to walk again. Now, three to six months later, he walked out of the hospital under his own power. And when I was doing research for the interview, I found the, the theme of, man, he proved the doctors wrong. Like he was trying to, trying to walk and all this stuff. And, um, and so when I talked to him, I was like, Hey, like you proved the doctors wrong. And he was like, no, I, I really, I really didn't. He was like, I was happy with never, ever riding, riding my bike again. I was happy with like, I had done everything I ever wanted to do. I was kind of at peace. And when I was able to get out of the hospital, I didn't care about riding my bike. He's like, but I saw how much my story meant to other people. And that pushed me to want to want to ride my bike again. And he told his fan base on YouTube, if he got to a million followers, he'd ride his bike again. And he ended up doing it like a few months after that. And it was really incredible. And now he mentors people who are new, who are newly um, paralyzed. And so he he's able to was able to use his challenge and and really use it to help other people. And I thought that was really awesome. Now the last thing is something I struggle with a lot, which is success. I found isn't always linear. So I always want to I'm going to do something. I'm going to do another thing, and I'm going to be where I want to be. And Life and, and business isn't always like that. And uh, that was really shown to me by a guy named Kevin Ogar. Now, Kevin Ogar also had a spinal injury. Uh, he was a professional weightlifter and he ended up uh, breaking his back, uh, doing, a, doing a move. And um, he knew he was paralyzed like right away. And he went to the hospital and he had to have three surgeries to save his life. And he was lying in bed and a doctor came to him and said, 
hey, I want you to, to look at your life not as linear anymore, but as a bouncing ball. The ball is supposed to hit the ground and bounce back up. When it doesn't bounce back up to where it is or higher, that's when you need to reach out for help. And his, that story really like kind of changed my life a little bit and how I view things because the, the ball is supposed to hit the ground. We're supposed to see challenges and, and it's all about knowing when to reach out for help ar around you. And I thought that was super, super impactful. So in closing, when you're faced with adversity, try to look at it from a different perspective. Um, it can be used to help other people. And we're supposed to hit these bumps. It's all about how we come back from it. Thank you so much, everybody. Yay. Awesome. Excellent. Ryan, that was beautiful and very inspiring. Thank you so much for sharing. And uh, we all need to put your lenses on because I think you have a great perspective on life. Does anybody have any questions for Ryan? Uh, yeah, Ryan? Tris, Tris, this oh. Prakash. Okay, go ahead, Prakash. Um, Ryan, usually I don't come to Pork. I was impressed uh, with what you had to say on the golf outing, so I'm here. I just wanted to hear what you had to say. Um, one question I have is, what do you want from the chamber members uh, in, in support of you? Can you clarify that? Sure. Um, I'm just trying to spread the word about Greater Than the Game. We're a newly formed nonprofit uh, about a year ago, but we officially launched about a month or two ago. So we actually have a GoFundMe that I'll share the link to. If you guys can share that link with people you know, or are trying to get general funds, we want to help. Uh, our mission is to not only inspire people through the podcast and the blog, but we want to help get adaptive equipment to people um, that need it so they can overcome their own challenges. So that's a goal that we have. Um, so if you guys can share it, I'll put the link and stuff in the chat and how to contact me. So that'd be awesome. Thank you. Excellent. And also, Thanks. I think we should all subscribe to your podcast and listen to those stories. You're doing amazing things talking to these athletes who are facing their own challenges. I think this is an amazing, amazing um, nonprofit that you've started. So congratulations to you. Okay. You're welcome. I know Joanne had her hand up before. Go ahead, Joanne. I don't have a question and I hope I can keep it together long enough to make this comment. I have been watching these perks every week for a year and a half. And I can say hands down, that was the best one I have ever heard. Um, I think every topic that anyone's ever spoken about and anything we're reaching for professionally or personally all comes back to what you just said. And I'm crying not because I'm sad, because I'm so happy to hear that kind of message. It was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joanne. Uh, Sensei Mark. <laughs> Ryan and I have a long history and I reached out to Ryan when I found out he was joining the chamber, we had a conversation. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna help you answer Prakash's question, Ryan. Ryan is a startup in this nonprofit world, and we have a, uh, what, 20 plus nonprofits as part of the chamber. I think what Ryan really also could get out of the chamber, which is really what the chamber is all about, some guidance and help in getting this nonprofit right, running in the right direction and running the right way from the beginning. So I know Prakash, or their, you know, everybody's got their own little thing. If anybody can give Ryan any help or any resources, um, you know, that's going to help him do, get everything else done. What do you say, Ryan, right? Yeah, 100%. And Absolutely. if you guys want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter I, uh, or Facebook, I tried to put the, the link in the chat, but it didn't come through as a link. But we're at greater than the game underscore on Instagram. I'll put it in. I'll type it in. Awesome. One of Ryan's accomplishments he left out is he is a black belt. Wow. In Kenpo Wonderful. Karate. Wonderful. And that's the connection between Mark and Ryan. Mark was his sensei when he was younger uh, and taught him how to get to black belt. <laughs> and Ryan did it. <laughs> awesome. So much to be proud of. And you know, Ryan came out and volunteered at the golf outing on Wednesday. And his, the first task Erica had him do was sit at the hole in one 
with binoculars, and she paired him up with Paula Alderelli, Alderelli, who is the executive director of a nonprofit, and they had a very long time to chat there. And I thought that was the perfect pairing, Erica. So thank you for putting them together. So we're already helping Ryan uh, with tips on, on running a nonprofit uh, with our nonprofits. Tamar? Ryan, I, I don't usually do this, but um, the people around here know that I have a very soft spot for the nonprofit world, being that I came from there. But um, for those of you on here, you heard about his GoFundMe, but I also just started something next Thursday. I turned 45, Ryan. I just created a $2,500 fundraiser for you, and I'm pretty sure we're going to hit that goal for you oh, on Facebook. You. All right? Beautiful, beautiful. So You're very welcome. Even though you have that pretty shitty sign behind you, and I absolutely hate seeing it, but we swept you last weekend. Yeah, that was a rough one. That, yes, it was, but I will I am I will proudly support what you are doing as somebody who absolutely loves nonprofits and one day will start one of his own. I'm very proud of what you are doing, and I will make sure that we hit that goal for you next week. Thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. I love this group so much. Thank you, Tamara. Hey, Ryan, 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 don't listen to him. I, I used to walk the Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. I'm talking about, you know, a while. Well, Dave while Bruce back. was playing, Al. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I joined the Magi, actually. So, okay, talk to you later. <laughs> uh, Gerald, I know you had your hand up. Yeah, Ryan, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to email you later. Uh, I have your contact information. I see down in the chat. I have a lot of experience with uh, helping nonprofits and over 30 years of doing that. So once you and I have breakfast and uh, I'll uh, help you to volunteer for you as well. Perfect. Thank you so much. Awesome. Oh my God. Now I'm going to cry. Joanne got me started and now you're going to make me cry. It's all what Joanne said in 10 years of coming to Perks, this has been the best perk I've ever attended. Wow. I love this. <coughs> Anybody the same here, Ryan. I'll reach out and uh, we'll do something together with awesome. my foundation. Thank you so much, everybody. Love it. It means love the it. world. Anybody else? I think these guys were all right, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have anything to say to Ryan? No, thanks for coming to volunteer at the golf outing because look at all these great connections you've made. That's fabulous. That's <laughs> <laughs> so what I was telling him when we were uh, talking. I said, by you coming to volunteer your time here to help us, you're going to have amazing things happen now. Look at all the people you met and all the people that want to support you. So thank you. Thanks for the opportunity, everybody. <laughs> awesome. Very welcome. I think right. Kathleen's cat wants to help too. <laughs> <laughs> and cats never want to help anybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, with that, um, Mark, do you have anything you want to share? You don't want to talk about the helping us at the golf outing <laughs> since that's over. Do you want to share anything about your experience this week with, uh, with the outing? Um, listen, the outing was great. The support was terrific. Uh, we had you know, what we call our dream team. Uh, there's Bonnie popping on co-chair. Um, I mean, everybody was spectacular. Everybody put a lot in, but I want to do an extra special um, complimentary shout out to Erica. Uh, not only did Erica whip the volunteers and had a great uh, system going to make sure everything was covered. I mean, and she started that early, early on. It's not like that morning telling people what to do. Um, the slideshow that was put together for Colonel Sam was touching it went right to everybody's heart uh even people who didn't know colonel sam that were there kind of came up to me and said what a tribute that was and she did all that herself and it was again not something she whipped together last minute erica thank you so much for everything you put into this uh and thank everybody else also bonnie and i couldn't have done it without everybody um i want to give a special thanks to joanne colella because oh, she yeah. took that wonderful testimonial she was in our commit on our committee and I reached out and I said, we need you. And she, it was, I cried when I read it. Thank you, Joanne. I mean, you have brought so much to this chamber and what you did for Colonel Sam was just, it was beautiful. Thank you. 
And again, I can't thank all the members who pitched in outside of our committee. As I was telling people, this was our coming out party. This is showing the world who we are. We've come out the other side. So right now we're done. We had a huge successful event. Now it's on to Beacon. And we have to support that committee and make that a, another terrific, outstanding. This is a really big one for us, that Beacon. So thank you if, again, everybody. If, if you're going to Beacon and signed up, bring, get a friend to sign up. Bring somebody with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for those of you, I, I'm sure everybody here has heard us talk about the Beacon. We are honoring the five hospitals in Monmouth County. Uh, we are honoring the VNA uh, of Monmouth County, the um, Community Health Center. We're honoring the Mental Health Association of Monmouth County. Um, we are honoring um, the, uh, actually the President's Award is going to uh, the Monmouth County Board of County Commissioners for all that they did for small businesses during the pandemic by supporting them financially with grants. Uh, and we're honoring um, Kevin McNamara, who's a lawyer who was on a ventilator for six months and is now on the recovery side. Um, and uh, he's representing everybody who's been affected physically by COVID. So it's going to be an outstanding event. And I highly recommend everybody, uh, everybody should be there. We have a lot of people there. So um, anybody have anything to add? Okay, then, oh, uh, so two more events I, want, I wanted to talk about. On Tuesday, the 22nd, Tiffany Artis of uh, Howell Driving School and Jean Driving School is doing an online uh, defensive driving course from eight, eight o'clock to 10.30. Uh, I believe it's $50 for members, $60 to future members. And if you wanted to take two points off your license, it's an additional $25. So register for that. Uh, registration is actually with her um, so that uh, she can gather the information she needs. And, um, and then the Thursday, I can't believe it's all happening next week already. <laughs> Tara, why don't you talk about the women in business? We gotta, we gotta hear you first. <laughs> there you I go. gotta drink a lot more coffee on Fridays. Let me tell you, <laughs> thanks Therese. We're having our first in-person women in business luncheon. It's gonna be awesome. It's at yesterday's. Yesterday's restaurant is on Highway 35 in uh, Hazlitt, about three minutes away from Vibe, which unfortunately closed due to COVID and didn't reopen. But our speaker, I'm very excited, is <clears throat> the owner of No Limits Cafe. And she created this cafe, <clears throat> excuse me, because she has a daughter, I believe with Down syndrome, and she wanted to make sure that her daughter had a great job and a fulfilling life. And she thought, what if I could help other children, young adults? So she only hires young adults with disabilities and they run the restaurant. And it's very inspiring. Just like our Ryan here with his story, it really relates. So we're really excited to hear her story. We have vendor tables available for $85 for members. Tickets are $40 to get in. You'll have a three choice menu and dessert and coffee is included. And it's going to be a great day. So please register. I have to give them a head count on Monday, but I'm sure that I'll be able to add on a few uh, before Thursday. So please register as soon as you can, if you know you can go. And please spread the word. Thank you. Yes. And we're going to, uh, do we have vendor tables? Um, how many? We do. Yeah. How many have signed up already? We need more, right? Yes. Yeah. I think we have uh, three and that's including, thank you so much for reminding me because our, our <clears throat> generous sponsors for that event is Makash, Prakash and Mitali. Did you see that? I did a Makash. I right. put the two of you together. So together. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be a new thing. <laughs> so thank you very much. Uh, and uh, Artist Senior Living of Eatontown. That really gives us a great help. So they will be there with their vendor tables. And we have Joanne from Touchtone took a vendor table, but we have enough for eight tables. So we have a few left. All right, very good. And I was gonna ask you about the sponsors and you got it in there. So good. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Therese. 
And with that, let's go around the room. Let's start with Gerald Ciosi, Erica Boyer, and Jim Roth. Good morning, uh, Chamber. Gerald Ciosi, I'm the real estate attorney of the group. And obviously, uh, I specialize in helping people uh, buy and sell real estate. But also people who have problems with their landlords. If you are a landlord and have a situation where your tenant is not paying your rent, there are ways, even though there's a freeze on eviction still by the governor, we could get them out of the property if need be. So if you have a situation like that, contact me. All referrals are confidential and they're free. Thank you. Or uh, consultation, I should say. Thank you. Thank you, Gerald. Good morning, Erica Boyer, Edward Jones. Um, I'm a financial advisor here in Marlboro, New Jersey, helping individuals and small business owners plan for their financial future, making sure that whatever their investment strategies and saving strategies are, are appropriate for them and their long-term goals. Everybody's unique and different. Um, so just make sure you have a personalized approach to um, meeting those goals. Um, Erica Boyer, Edward Jones. Thank you, Erica. Thanks, Ryan. It was great. It was so good to meet you this weekend. Or on weekend. Oh, God, I feel like it was the weekend on Wednesday. <laughs> no, we got one coming up, though. There's... <laughs> and this is Jim from Rock Solid Tech Support. I will be sitting right here on the porch all weekend long. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's see. Uh, computer and network support repairs and troubleshooting for Windows and Mac. I've got a background in computer security. And boy, did I put that to good use yesterday. I spent a good... Uh, it was well over three hours with uh, one person who thinks that they got hacked. And honestly, I think they, they just bought the ball, passwords and uh, other things and uh, a lot of anxiety there. I was absolutely putting my my second career as a social worker to, to good use. No, I don't have a background in that, but... Uh, a lot of hands-on training with that yesterday. Boy, anyway, look, if you know somebody that's having some trouble with these things, um, I do like to help people. Sometimes it's a little bit challenging. It pains me to say this, send them my way. I'll help them out. <laughs> well, thank you, Jim, for your service. Can I, can I just do a quick little shout out for Jim? Because we had a technical difficulty on Tuesday and I reached out to people in the chamber to try and help with troubleshooting the issue. So we had the video and Jim was so kind enough to say, yes, I can help. I'm like, good, I'm on my way. And I spent a couple hours at his house on, on Tuesday, trying to get it. We did it. We had, we had great conversations about other things too, but um, <laughs> a lot of history lessons. Um, but I want to thank him, Jim, because he did really step up and was there if we were having more problems on Wednesday as a backup and to help out and volunteer. So um, I just want to do a shout out and thank you so much. I appreciate it. Happy to help. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. All right. Next up, we have Tara, Steve, and Joanne. Okay, I unmuted myself. I'm, I'm getting better now. Hi, it's Tara from Outside the Box Gifts. I create very unusual gifts that make you memorable. And here's how it works. You tell me your budget. You tell me a little bit about why you need a gift and about the person. And I'll go out and take, out the, take care of the rest. So today we have a, a baby shower gift. And when I look at an event, I, I go to, I ask them to send me the invite. And this invite was a wild one is on the way. So I immediately went out and looked for, um, you know, little animals. And this, I found a, I don't know if you can see that, but it says wild at heart. That's a bib. I did the letter A. His name is going to be Aiden when he's born. I found a giraffe, so I looked for a book that wears the giraffe, which is very cute inside. And then we have um, some baby towels with animals on it, and it says my tribe. So when you're <laughs> buying a gift for yourself, try to theme it to, if it's for a shower, what is that shower theme? And you'll make a, a memory for those people, and it'll look really cute on the table. So that's me, Tara, Outside the Box Gift. Have an awesome weekend, everybody. Thank you, Tara. Always fun to see what you have in store, <laughs> in store <laughs> to show us. <clears throat> Good morning, it's Steve Rosen, Jobs Done Right. Um, let's see, well, this week it's Father's Day. Don't give me any work this, this weekend. I'm going to be taking it off <laughs> because I'm a father now. Um, but after that, I am back into work. Anything you need done inside or outside, uh, I can take care of it. Steve Rosen, job's done right. Your local handyman. Thank you, Steve. 
Happy Father's Day, Steve. Um, I'm Joanne Colella. My business is Colella Communications. As I guess I've given away, I very much love hearing people's stories and, and taking them to heart. So um, if you have information that you need, you need written about your business, your organization, I would be happy to help and I'll make people cry and I'll make people laugh and I'll make people buy your stuff. So um, give me a call if you need me. Joanne Colella, Colella Communications. Thank you, Joanne. Next up, Mark, Dwayne, and Oriana. All right. Good morning, gang. Mark Vigiani, full-time real estate professional representing Berkshire Hathaway Fox Roach out of Homedale. Um, what I do is I implement, I create and implement strategies uh, to maximize the outcome of real estate transactions of my clients to get their goals needed. So if you know anybody that has any questions, any goals that have to get taken care of with real estate involved, then just give me a call. Thank you, Mark. Good morning, folks. Uh, first of all, Ryan, incredible message this morning. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. On a different tack, uh, June, among other things, is also National Alzheimer's Awareness and Mental Health Awareness Month. One of the things that's been coming to light over the past few years is that they have found untreated hearing loss can lead to a 30 to 40 percent increase in the incidence of dementia. It also can bring that condition on up to five years earlier. So if you or someone you know has a hearing question, a concern, or just wants to find out what's going on, my information is in the chat box. We do full testing, consultation, diagnostics, no charge, no obligation. Give me a call. We'll have a call, talk, find out if there is anything going on, and answer any questions you have. Everyone, a great week, great month. Happy Father's Day to the dads. Uh, the rest of you, enjoy just because it's a good day for a holiday. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much, Dwayne. Good morning, guys. I'm Mariana Khaleesi, owner of Caliber Construction and YNJ. We are a licensed, insured, and bonded construction company. We cover New York and New Jersey. Most of our work is in Monmouth County. We specialize in kitchen and bathroom renovations. However, you can call us to put down your tile, your vinyl, laminate flooring, moldings, trims, door casing, the sky's the limit. We work with everybody's budget. If you have any needs or any questions, even if you're doing a DIY project, you could always give us a call. We'll provide input, help, and support as much as we can. Happy Father's Day to everybody on this call and happy Father's Day to the moms that put in the extra work too. I just had to throw that in there and have a great weekend, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Oriana. <laughs> okay, so let's see. The, the Mike and Jilda Healy and... Uh, and then we'll go to Al and then Tamar, and then we'll, we'll go to Kathleen at the end. Good morning, everybody. I'm Mike Healy. This is my wife, Jilda Healy, and together we are Healy Brokerage. Good referrals for us. Uh, just for your note, Ryan, you did a wonderful job on your, uh, on your presentation. We do uh, insurance for nonprofit organizations. Jilda can explain that to you and our information's in the chat. Uh, cyber liability, um, flood insurance, homeowners, honey. We also do workers' compensation insurance for those of you who are going back into the office. Protect the workers and protect yourself as the employer. And like Caliber Construction, we work everywhere from Niagara Falls. To the shores of Cape May, we got you covered. covered. Jilda and Mike, Mike Healy, 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 Healy Brokerage. Brokerage. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Good weekend. Thank you, Mike and Jilda. Mike and Jilda. Okay, Al, it's Al Aloisi, and uh, Ryan did a, a great job on that. <clears throat> By the way, my youngest son's name is Ryan. I just thought I'd throw that one in. <laughs> um, one of the things I do is uh, health insurance for those who are on Social Security, uh, SSI, I guess it is. And um, there would be you know, like no additional charge for a premium for those, those policies for people who are disabled. Uh, uh, so your independent insurance broker for life insurance, annuities, and um, uh, you know, as well as health, and handle small groups, large groups, health insurance, and so on. Um, 
I think I'll, I'll, that'll cover it. I'm going to a wedding uh, today. My One of my granddaughters is getting married today out on Long Island. So we got a long trip coming. We're leaving early because it's going to take hours to get there. But anyway, um, everybody have a nice week and uh, talk to you soon. Thank you. Congratulations, Al. Thank have you. fun. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Tam Raguda, New York Life. I help people with life insurance, retirement planning, long term care. As I've been mentioning for a few weeks now, if you don't have life insurance, now is the time to absolutely do it. If you have kids, grandkids, absolutely get it now. There's been regulation changes with the IRS that are changing the insurance industry as a whole. Plus, we are in a very low interest rate environment, which is causing all the insurance companies to reprice their products. Guarantees are going down, premiums are going up. So you're gonna to wanna to do this now. Also, you can't take your health for granted. You never know what's coming next. Tomorrow isn't promised to anyone, even for kids and grandkids. Look at me, if I didn't have my parents put insurance on me when I was a kid, There'd be no life insurance for my wife if something happened. I'm heavy, I'm overweight, and I can't get life insurance. Do it now before something happens to those that you love. And if you don't have it on yourself, you need to do it and need to do it sooner than later before you end up paying more for less. So talk to me, talk to Al, talk to any one of the insurance professionals at this chamber. We are all here to help you. We all have your best interest at heart. All of us are here because we care about helping others. So talk to one of us. And then also don't forget about my side gig. My brother who's a chamber member, Surpro of Howell Wall. They help with water damage, mold remediation, fire damage. If anything happens in your home, they will make it like it never, ever happened. Just give them a call and they will help you out. And that awesome. And I also, it looks like Bonnie's gone, but Mark, Bonnie, you guys did an amazing job at the golf tournament. It was the Chambers coming out party. We are back. We are open for business. Though we are here virtual, we weren't hoping to be that way. Last week, we had an incredible perk in person. It was great to see people and be able to fist bump because you know, I was trying not to hug, but that apparently ended at the golf tournament, which is fine. I'm still alive and that's all that matters to me. So that's good. <laughs> but we had a great time. We can't wait for the beacon. Please come. It's going to be an incredible event. We missed last year's and we are so looking forward to having a couple of hundred people together to celebrate the heroes of the past 15 months who without this country probably would not have survived as well as it did. So please join us as we celebrate the heroes of this awful pandemic that looks like we are have turned the corner and we are all back in business. With that, the chamber is starting to reopen fully. So, Therese, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you so much, Tamar. So some of you uh, have heard. Um, for those of you that haven't, Rochelle is retiring from the chamber, and she's not wasting any time. She's traveling the week following her retirement. Next Friday is her last day. And with that, the, the office has been interviewing people to try to find somebody to come in and fill Rochelle's big shoes. And I'm happy to say Kathleen Hoffman is the person that we've hired. So congratulations and welcome, Kathleen. I'm so excited to have you on board with us. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. And I don't know if I'm replacing Rochelle. I'm going to be doing a lot of the work that she did. Um, I don't think that we can replace Rochelle. Um, she's been the heart and soul of this chamber for a long time. And I'm just running around trying to suck up as much information as I can right now. So I also wanted to shout out to Ryan. That was just such an amazing presentation, especially I can tell you I'm a professional speaker also. And you did a terrific job of formatting that talk. Um, from a technical standpoint, not to mention from an emotional standpoint, it was just terrific. So great job. Um, I, you know, just, it was great meeting you on Wednesday also. And, um, and this is Zane. Zane is my Zoom kitty. I have other ones, but he's the one that loves Zoom. He also loves to race. So he heard her voice and he was staring at the screen and uh, hopefully you get to see her soon, right? Yeah, okay. So um, just everybody, please be patient with me as I'm learning. Um, I'm thrilled to be a part of the chamber. 
Uh, from this side, uh, you know, from the staff side now, I'm excited about all the wonderful things we're going to do together. So, Yay. thank you. Awesome. So, yeah, so Kathleen has been a chamber member, so she knows the chamber. She knows a lot of the members. Uh, she knows she knows a lot of the board. So she was the perfect uh, choice for us uh, to come in and, and just train her on the back end now. <laughs> So she's been, uh, she started this week on Monday. And so she's already been to the golf outing and uh, we have a lot of, a lot of things lined up for her. So um, does anybody want to do testimonials? We have plenty of time. We'll be done early today. All right, let's go to Dwayne and then Mark and then Jolda. Yeah, I want to uh, thank Tara. I reached out and for one of her gift baskets for my wife, uh, absolutely loved it. Uh, it was Incredible. She hand painted some of the items for us, uh, put some thought into it, and everything in there was an absolute hit. So I want to thank you very much. Fantastic. Uh, my pleasure. <clears throat> my pleasure, Dwayne. It was great working with you. So I told Tara she needs a YouTube show. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so we're going to work on that. <laughs> what do we say? Outside the box with crazy Tara. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get to it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So first of all, as far as the golf outing goes, Bella Vista was spectacular. They worked with us. We had some speed bumps. We worked everything through. Golf course is gorgeous. The pavilion looks spectacular. And I believe Calabria Construction did some of the work in the newly pavilion. Caliber, yeah. <laughs> Right. Oh, yeah. I, I got to tell you, it is a beautiful, beautiful facility. Uh, the work you guys did was great. The staff at Bella Vista was spectacular. Um, just, just totally phenomenal. And just a little more on Ryan. Um, there's a lot of business models for karate schools where you can actually, I'm not going to say earn, but get a black belt in like 18 months. Uh, where Ryan and I trained, um, I got my first black belt after five years straight of training. Brian, how long did it take you to earn your black belt? Uh, ten, 10 years uh, and one surgery. <laughs> oh, he never wow. gave up. Wow. And he, he hung in there 10 years. To, so there's the persistence. There's the drive. Now you know where he's coming from. My goodness. That's incredible. Wow. Congratulations. That's awesome. Uh, oh, okay. or, wait, hold on a second, Jilda. Oriana? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I just wanted to ask Oriana. Yes. We, were we were just talking about the Bella Vista. Can you tell us how what you did to? Because uh, I know you were the construction company that that up, upgraded the whole facility there. Yes. Yeah, so originally, all of their openings were covered with kind of those plastic curtains. Um, we installed French doors throughout. We did tile, stone halfway up the wall. We stoned the front entrance. Um, we, we did a lot of work in Bella Vista. I love Anthony. He became like a part of my family doing this work. And um, I go there all the time. Their food is amazing, by the way. I know that's totally off subject, but really just such a great place. And just everybody should go there for every event. <laughs> I was supposed to be selling myself right now, right? But I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's perfectly fine. We, that's a testimonial for Anthony. So that's perfectly fine. <laughs> I love Anthony. I'm actually supposed to be calling him today. Oh, because awesome. I'm helping to set up an event for the Jar of Hope. Oh, nice. Very nice. And so after the event was over, there was a, a bunch of us at the bar and Marcella came in. Marcella was with us from the morning. She was one of the servers and she was helping us out all throughout the day. And she came into the bar and we were talking. And I don't know how your name got meant. Oh, no, I might have just said that we um, you are a new chamber member and that you did the construction. And then all of a sudden, I love Oriana. And all of a sudden, the text started flying. She was texting. You. <laughs> she started texting me. She's like, I'm here with Therese. Oh, my God, I can't believe you're finally a member. I'm like, Hello. I'm actually supposed to go to lunch with her on Monday. We okay. literally became like family with them. Like when we went in to do the construction and had our wedding there it ended up being something like completely amazing. Like we made so many friendships. They love our quality of work and we just love them in general. Nice. And it's beautiful because we hadn't Thank been there you. in a couple of years since they had the open walls. Beautiful. You did a great job. Thank you very much. You're welcome. 
All right, Jilda, go ahead. <laughs> I'm, uh, I apologize. I didn't mean to cut anybody off. Oh, no, no, no. I, I just wanted to jump on the Bella Vista because we were talking about Bella about Vista. that. And yeah, I, I will actually second whatever you said. It was, was so much fun. It looks so beautiful in there. I almost didn't want to come home. I want to make a testimonial for two people. The first is Steve Rosen. Thank you for all your help. I just follow him around and show him what I want done and he does it and it's beautiful both inside and out. Big hug and happy Father's Day. And the second testimonial is for Joanne Colella. She has spent quite a bit of time with Michael and I. Um, we're gonna be revamping some things on our website. Nice. She's gonna be writing some scripts for us. And the one thing she promised is she wouldn't mess with our tagline. So thank you, Joanne, for your help. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Thank you. I just have one more thing to say about to Steve. Uh, he was trying to fix the uh, garage light in our garage, and for some reason the ballast wouldn't cooperate with him. Well, a few hours after you left, the lights came on, so you didn't break anything, or and you, we don't think we need the ballast, at least not for a while. Good weekend, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. It wasn't right. you, Steve. There's all sorts of funky electrical things that happen in that house. I've been there. <laughs> That's right. That's the computers. <laughs> all right, Tamar. I need to give a testimonial once again to Dr. Dwayne Hunt, who the other day, I, my father has hearing aids from, from Dwayne, and apparently the end piece had fallen out, didn't know where it was. Turns out it was inside his ear. So Dr. Dwayne dug it out and fixed the hearing aid. So Dwayne, thank you for seeing him on a moment's notice and taking care of that. Oh my goodness. It was actually a lot simpler than that. You make it sound like I was doing major construction. But uh, very happy to help him out. And besides that, it gave him and his bride an excuse to go next door and have ice cream when we were done here. So it was a good trip for him. That's awesome. That ice cream store next to you is dangerous. Yes. <laughs> My father and I did the same thing the last time he was there. <laughs> I actually use that sometimes for advertising. It's either that or Rook Coffee. It's going to get somebody in. That's right. That's right. All right. Anything else? Anybody else? Any comments? Any anything fun to share? Anything exciting happening besides graduations and weddings that we heard of already? All right. Well, I guess we oh, wait. I have something. Oh, go ahead, Oriana. I actually have a question. Um, I don't have anything fun to share, but my cousin just opened up her own company, uh, doing acupuncture and cupping and facial rejuvenation. Um, I wanted to find out. Can I bring her to that? women's like luncheon kind of thing so that she can come and see if she would want to join absolutely we encourage that we would love members to bring non uh, future members we don't say non-members to bring future members with you so that you can def definitely introduce them to the group and and we're very, as you know we're very friendly and and as Tamara always says, we're family. So I was just about to say, it's not a group. It's a family. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to ask, because I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Cause I have a couple of people that own businesses that I would love to bring them For to sure. some of these meetings just so they can see if they would want to join. And they're all located in Monmouth County. Beautiful. <clears throat> Beautiful. Absolutely. We encourage that. Okay. Thank you. Thank and you. men are invited also. Right, we say right. smart men. Right, men. Right. We right. joke they always win the door prizes. Uh, once in a while, once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, anything else? All right, then. Well, thank you for being here on this this spontaneous holiday because it just uh, was announced yesterday and and uh, and it's in effect today and tomorrow, obviously. And uh, so have a great Father's Day weekend, everybody. Enjoy whatever celebrations you're having. And we will see you all next week. We have three opportunities to see each other. I hope to see you at all three. Ryan, again, phenomenal job. You're such an inspiration. And I'm so happy you chose this chamber to be a part of because you're part of the family now. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> welcome aboard.